we have seen R type, I type, S type and B type. Now let us look at J type and then we will look at U type. So still there are some more instructions. Take a look, JAL of type J, JALR jump and link register which is of I type and then there are instructions like load upper immediate LUI, add upper immediate to PC AUI PC and then environment call and environment break. So that could be some more I type. U type and J type instruction. Let us look at JAL jump and link. It is of J type. This is how the instruction looks like. There is an immediate value 20 down to 1 overall 20 bits. So, to calculate the immediate value what we need to do we need to sign extend this particular immediate value and then we need to make LSB as 0 as per this specification this is how we need to calculate the immediate value. So this is how basically we calculate the offset right address how we are going to jump from one instruction to the other location and JL what it means is the PC will be PC plus immediate value. So, obviously, it is going to jump to a location. At the same time, the register, destination register, which is defined as part of the instruction, will have the value of PC, which is going to be PC plus 4, the next instruction, immediate next instruction. So, that will be for future reference. That is called jump and link. So, JALR actually it is of type I and how we calculate the immediate value sign extension of 12 bits I type as 12 bits immediate value and then the PC is going to be source register. So, in this case it involves source register plus immediate value and then the LSB is going to be 0. So, as per this specification this is how we can calculate the offset for PC else PC plus 4 will be stored in the destination register. You do not need to worry about the calculation, immediate value calculation. This is what actually we are going to discuss in detail during design process while implementing the processor as RTL design. We are going to look at all these things how to calculate. All right. So, in this case, you just need to look at the operation, how the instruction works, and how best we can use all the instructions to write assembly program. That is the primary objective here. So, look at the operation J type JAL which does unconditional jump and link. It is going to be unconditional jump and link. So, the format is like this JAL destination register and this is offset. So, destination register will have the next instruction. PC plus 4. At the same time, the jump is going to be like this PC equal to PC plus immediate value. So, here the jump target specified as label, label encoded as an offset from the current address. So, it is always going to be an offset from the current address. Value. If you look at the instruction format, we have only 20 bits allocated for this particular immediate value. So, maximum we can address 2 to the power 20. You know, in case if you want to jump to any particular location, the maximum thing that we can achieve is 2 to the power 20. It cannot do a long jump. I am trying to explain why we need another instruction like JALR. So, look at this, 
JL of J type, if you look at J type, basically you have only 20 bits immediate value. We prefer I type for JLR. Look at this. It's unconditional jump JLR, RD, mediate and RS. So in this case, the jump will be calculated like immediate value plus RS. So you can think of defining 32 bits value through this register RS. So the offset is always going to be like immediate value plus RS. We can do long jump. Look at this. JLR X24 X12. So X12 is source registered. So the jump is going to be X12 plus 4. So it can jump within this range 2 to the power 32 locations. There is a difference. In case of JAL, the maximum possible range could be 0 to 2 to the power 20. But in case of JALR, it's going to be long jump. So 0 to 2 to the power 32 locations. We have seen J type. Now let's look at U type. So there are two kinds of instructions. One LUI, load upper immediate. The other one is AOI, PC. So load upper immediate when you say RD equal to immediate value. So this destination register will have the immediate value, the immediate value is going to be always like this. The bits 31 down to 12, right? So overall 20 bits and remaining 12 bits, overall 32 bits, right? So remaining 12 bits will be zero. So the MSB is going to be the immediate value and the LSB is going to be zeros. So something like this, this is how we are going to calculate the immediate value for both LUI and AI PC. Right. So look at this example, how we can think of using load upper immediate. So the destination register is going to have some constant. Let's say x12 is x, x13 is y. So this is going to be the destination register. So overall the equation is going to be like x equal to y plus some constant. So this is like kind of small constant. There are three digits. If you consider three digits maximum, how many bits? 12 bits. For each digit, four bits. So three into four, 12 bits. So you can deal with only 12 bits immediate value. Let's say we want to do this, x equal to y plus constant. In this case, the constant is hexadecimal, one, two, three. There are three digits. So overall, it demands 12 bits. So this can be done through add i operation because add i is of i type and the immediate, basically, it has got 12 bits. So you can think of defining this constant within 12 bits. So it works perfectly, x12 which is nothing but x, x13, and then the constant. So it's going to do y plus this constant, it works. But when it comes to large constant, you can't use add i straight away. It's going to be impossible. So in this case, you can think of using LUI. Look at this example. x equal to y plus constant. In this case, there are eight digits. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, hexadecimal. And for each digit, we need 4 bits. So overall, we need 32 bits. So what we can do is, we can think of using LUI, load upper immediate. And this is the register, intermediate register. And then we are going to consider only 5 digits because we have only 20 bits for LUI. If you remember this immediate value, for example, look at this immediate value, we have only 20 bits. So we can think of storing only five digits. So I'm going to store the value one, two, three, four, five. 
and this constant how it is going to be stored look at this this is the format right so it's going to append zeros so x14 is going to be 32 bits the digits 1 2 3 4 5 and the remaining three digits are going to be 0 0 0 0 it's it's going to append 12 bits as 0 so in this case it's hexadecimal so for each zero you need to consider four zeros so eventually it's going to have 12 zeros so as per the instruction it's going to append zeros like this so whatever the constant we assign it's going to be at the msb side that's called load upper immediate and the lsbs will always be zero now on top of it we can perform add i operation on the same destination register x14 equal to x14 plus the remaining constant so this is immediate instruction we can think of using only three digits because the immediate as only 12 bits 6 7 8 and it's always going to be at the lsb side you think of it right if it is going to perform add operation the new value will be like lsb and then remaining msbs will be filled with zero sign extension when it comes to i type so both the constants will be appended so eventually x14 is going to be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 it's going to be a large constant and then simply i am going to perform x12 which is destination register equal to y plus x14 in this case x14 is 32 bits constant so this is how you can do add operation with large constants all right we have seen jump and link jump and link register and load upper immediate and then ui pc add upper immediate to pc and there are other instructions like environment call which is primarily for transferring the control back to operating system and then environment break which is primarily for transferring control back to debugger.